Hey guys, it's Mike the Wrestling Godsman. So, listen, I know I did the review for AEW and NXT, but I think this is a different kind of video. I think, I think, I usually wouldn't say this this early in the year because NXT has been dropping too, but they've been building themselves back up. I think, I think AEW from last night, even from last night and on, has just been nothing but disappointing. Like, I love AEW, but here's the reason I say this, guys. I think they're disconnecting. I think the reason why I think it's disconnecting is because of the fact that what we, what we, what we want, we never get. And this is the thing. I was so hyped yesterday because in NXT, we got exactly what they said they were going to give us. And here's my problem. Like, they literally, and I'm saying this like a, the nicest way I can say this, is that... Every time we think we're going to get a title, and that's the thing, Jericho is being Hogan. As much as everybody doesn't want to say that, he is. Because he will never defend that title. That's how crazy it is. He won't do it. He's literally... The inner circle are like NWO 2019, or watered-down version of NWO. The only difference is they're not trying to bleed the company dry because they're all getting paid. The difference is that the booking is wrong. Because it's probably some like some Vince Russo guy around there. And this is the thing I don't understand. If Junker Bull is supposed to be the chosen one, he's supposed to be the chosen one to to be to be to be Chris Jericho for the title. How is he not he has a number one contender spot? Doesn't that mean he can have the match at any point in any AEW or any pay per view? Which I don't get. So, basically, last night, we got a little bit of Chris Jericho, more about the Nightmare Collective, more about for, P, for a number one contender for the women's title, which is great, but here's my thing about it. The angles don't work. Even with the Young Bucks and Scorp in Scorpio Sky, like that match, that whole match, the Young Bucks could have beat them if the situation was different because it wasn't a pay-per-view. They could have waited to the pay-per-view. They could have had a regular match. They did that. Had two matches. Had a few. Blow off at the pay-per-view. Which is in, in February. So, by the time February rolls around, the Young Bucks are probably going to be number one contenders. They're probably going to still stick them with the number one contender spot. They're going to go to Tony Khan and say, Oh, um, Tony, um, can you give us a number one contender spot? That's it. They don't see the point with Chris. Like, they don't see the point. I love SEU and the Young Bucks. I love them. I do. Because Frankie Kazarian and Scorpio Scott, I love him and Christopher Daniels. I love it. But here's my problem. Here's my problem. Every time we, we, and it's, I think it's the booking and I think it's the, 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 I think it's the booking. Because here's my thing. Like, Kenny Omega is a great wrestler. Like I said in my review, in my predictions, I said he's a great wrestler. And I just want him to be somewhere. And I don't want him being the tag team on Hangman. I don't want it. I really don't. I would want to see more of it being the elite stuff because I don't really get to see that. I kind of want to see that now. I kind of want to know what they're doing with them. I kind of want to know what's their plan. What's their thoughts, you know what I mean? Because it's the same shit. It's the same methodical damn pace. They're literally trying to fucking do. Because in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, maybe. Maybe in the back of my mind. I'm thinking. In the back of my mind. I'm thinking this. I'm thinking they've got... A bunch of talent. They have a bunch of talent. A bunch of guys they bought. And it's like, it's week after week, the ratings drop because they don't know where to book. I mean, come on. We haven't seen MJF since he made that promo. Meaning, the next week when we see the guy, which will be in Jacksonville next week. We're going to see the guy. It's going to be another dumbass MJF promo. And what I wanted...
like I said, it's not it's not okay. It's just not okay the fact that we get another promo. And the Blade and the Butcher are doing so good, but they won't be become tag team champions. Because someone's gonna they're gonna put them in an angle. See, it would have been fun. And I say and I've said this a lot about the angles of AEW compared to NXT. Everybody on NXT last night, fantastic storyline. The storylines are not done. They're still going. They're really hot right now. The feud's really hot. And that's what I mean. EO was the dominating again because she's got the heel, and I'm loving that the crowd. The crowd is feeding into her. They love her. They love Rio. They love Shayna. Everybody kind of loves everybody. And this is what I mean. On the other side of the coin, AEW didn't get what they wanted. Because the AEW, like, and that's the thing, I had more, like, last night, I had more questions and answers in AEW than NXT. Because I knew all this stuff was going to come to a head eventually. But AEW, what is the Dark Order's biz? Because they keep coming out week after week, night after night, every pay, every AEW, every episode, every mind setting. And here's the thing. What is their deal? Because they just come up and attack the Young Bucks and Scorpio Sky. I mean, SEU, which really don't make any sense to me. Because it doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't. I don't get what they're doing. I don't, I don't get it. Because it's everybody else who, who needs a push. Like, private party is probably going to get a push. Private Party is probably going to get a push. They're probably going to become number one contenders. They're probably going to be champions at some point. Because I see them happening. I don't know about the Dark Order. Because Dark Order doesn't... Because uh, Evil Uno doesn't make any sense. He doesn't. And because these rivalry, Like, all these storylines that are coming out... And, like, here's my thing. These storylines don't make any lick of sense because every storyline that comes out in AEW it's a ma- it's a mic mash of everything because I'm thinking then you've got Dark Order attacking everybody you've got Inner Circle attacking people but you got Inner Circle wanting something from somebody else you got Inner Circle and John Moxley which I think for God's sake he's not gonna join them because there's no point MJF is joining them for a different reason you got them and then you've got the, the the MJF and Cody rivalry, the MJF Cody rivalry, which I'm thinking, yo, and I'm thinking in the back of my mind, like, yo, where does it go? Where does it go? Where does it go? And I'm just thinking, like. Okay, here's the thing, here's the point, here's the thing, you're good. Everybody's doing good. Everybody's having a match in their mind. Because this is the thing. AW is doing WCW shit, but the difference is they're booking the wrong people to book. How do you... Here's the thing I don't understand, right? Maybe, 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 um, maybe Wrestling Observer cleared it up for me a little bit. How the heck can y'all book... The matches were really strong. The matches were strong, but the people don't get what they want. There's like a thousand, there's like 50,000 people a week to NXT to get what they want. Because NXT has been showing us and giving us more every week. And then you get, sorry, you get AEW on that side thinking, hey, maybe if we, and the thing is, if they were really trying to get ratings, if they were really trying to be NXT in the ratings, why didn't they put the title on the line? Why didn't they do that? With the tag title and the women's title could have been on the line because that would have made sense to build up that last hour block. But I digress because I'm thinking I know what they're gonna do. They're gonna wait till NXT. They're gonna wait till Takeover to do their thing. They're doing it in February. They're doing it the 27th of February, which is the end of the month. Everybody's gonna forget about it. But NXT is gonna keep going week after week, month after month for just and I think the Dust Rose Tag Team Classic. Is coming next month. So when AEW is still trying to put everybody's story together for the first for the first week of the month, I mean the first week of the year of the new year, they're gonna be trying to do it next month. Why I say this is because there's two reasons why. Two reasons I've said this before. And I've said this 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 so many times. 
is when you have Chris Jericho as your champion anywhere you put him. Anywhere you put him. And I'm just like, yo, where are they? What are they doing with the inner circle? What is his thing? What are they doing with him? Because there's no infighting in that group at all. There's no infighting. So you got, you've got Chris Jericho. You've got Chris Jericho as the AW World Champion. You got him. You got Jungle Boy Jack Perry as the number one contender. But you couldn't give him a match Wednesday night. I mean, last night. You couldn't. You couldn't have gave him a match to make sense of the operation. You couldn't. You couldn't have gave it to him. You couldn't have gave it to him that last night. Because that would have worked. See, and I'm, I'm, and I'm pretty sure Steven Larson is going to say that AEW is going to, NXT wins. NXT wins all the time. That's the point you got to realize. NXT wins all the time. Because of the angles that everybody is in right now. That's why they're winning. Because Johnny Gogano showing back up. And kicking the crap out of, out of, out of, out of Finn Balor. And he beats the living out of him. Just beats him of, of his inch of his life. Beats the tar out of him. And here's the thing. Nobody expected that. That's why NXT won last night. If Johnny Gogano didn't show up. And the match was perfect, and he showed up at the end of the show, it would have made a bunch of sense. But here's my thing the reason why people show up, the reason why they won, what shouldn't have happened, happened. Because NXT is doing it. See, that's what I don't understand with AEW. They couldn't do with that. And this is what I mean. Like, these angles don't make sense. And I don't care about what happens. Like, like I said, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what NXT. I don't know. Like, I mean, I don't know what AEW because it's the, it's the same. The same tactics they're trying to use for 2019 and the 2020. And it's just like, where do we go? Like, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go from? I mean, where do we go? Where do you go? I guess so. Where do you go? Because you've got... You've literally got... Jungle Boy Jack Boy. Because you literally have him. And you got Jungle Boy Express, which... I think they're going to be in it. I think they're going to, to just win the title or something. They're going to do it. Because the thing is, the back of my mind, I'm thinking, you got Jungle Boy, you've got Chris Jericho in this situation, you got a nice group going, but what, how come the feud's not stoking the flames up a bit? That match stoked it up a little bit higher. But it's still dying. The rock was gonna die next week. It's gonna die. Because, and like I said, guys, I apologize if this is a long video because I'm just giving you guys my synopsis of what I'm thinking right now because it, it, it's ridiculous. It's like AEW is literally giving me the kill me, please, or put me out of my misery. But it's not. And I, I. I 
and I've said this to you guys a lot, and I know, like, I'm not rambling about it, but here's my thing. You're literally losing people because the angles are not good. AEW's connect, disconnecting with the fans, and they shouldn't be, but they are. Because they don't get what they want. We got last week when everybody was going crazy, like, NXT last week with the triple threat, that was something. No, the Texas ma- uh, tag match was cool. That was cool. That was a good idea to have the last week before. No. But the thing is, this is what I'm talking about. Every week it's AW and Raw. Just, they lose views. And I just don't get what's with the crowd. The crowd was dead silent. Dead silent. With that uh, jet, um, Jungle Boy and Chris Jericho match. It was dead silent because it wasn't for the title. If it wasn't for the title, that jump would have been on for longer than 10 minutes. And it's a 30-minute timeline. Come on. So, pretty much if he would have won, and he would have won, Chris Jericho would have had to literally make that dude pass out. And he didn't tap. That's my problem. That's my problem. That's my problem. It's literal shit that they're trying to they keep throwing into our mouths every time we ask for something. And NXT is literally giving us soda and popcorn and we're enjoying this. Everybody was marking out. And usually you don't get fans going into the ring congratulating the champ. Nah. Everybody in the women's match, it was the greatest thing we saw, dude. Because it was the end of an era for one person and a beginning and continuing era for another. That's what it, that's what it should have been for AEW with the championship belt that they could have had. Because if Jungle Boy would have won, he would have won. Thing is, they're going to make that gym no disqualification. That means Jungle they could have got involved in some way. He would have told them to go back because he doesn't want See, he doesn't want to go. Because it's a literal time that they do it. And I'm saying this. I think AEW is connecting, disconnecting. Guys. Why I say, I say this because look at the booking. The booking for the past couple of weeks. NXT has been booking. And, they, and this is what I mean. It's literal. They keep throwing poop at us. They keep throwing dirt in our faces every time we think we're going to get it. We keep getting thrown dirt in our faces. Because of the fact that we should have got a title belt and we didn't. We should have got a woman's title belt. We didn't. We got more of the Nightmare Collective with their weird agenda. We've got the Dark Order, the raving, the freaking raving psychopaths of AEW because they got a group of them. Which I don't get. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.